What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another video. And uh, yeah, yeah, this is kind of my uh, equivalent of a lazy Sunday stream. It will be a short video this time. But uh, yeah, before I go to uh, yeah, to re to uh, write a synopsis for a uh, second chapter of my webcomic. I came across some things on the internet today, and uh, yeah, <sighs> how to say this? Some people really need to yeah, make up their minds, because yeah, I'm not the guy who talks a lot about these kind of things. In fact, I ignore most of it. I, especially within the yeah, things that happen within the CG circles, etc have my own opinion about. Well, the following opinion is going to be uh, one that will uh, probably piss some people off, but uh, turned out that uh, yeah, so, some of that I saw on uh, Twitter t on uh, on X today. Yeah, I don't get these guys for real. The thing is, yeah, turns out that uh, one of the big uh, CG kings, queens, whatever. Th that I have my own problems with. Stem more f that stem more from uh, yeah, not necessarily the reason why I went to do that, but other reasons that I uh, yeah already mentioned a few times, but I'm not going into detail because uh, it's kind of obvious from the from the behavior alone. But it's kind of weird. First they. Uh, Especially within those uh, geeks and gamer circles, the CT crowd have my own opinion. Basically, the whole anti SW crowd, a few exceptions. Just for the record, I never had Disney Plus because I am. Um, I I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't uh, I don't have uh, heart, and I don't use streaming services like, uh, with the exception of Spotify, that I use for music and uh, listen to an occasional podcast. But uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. I mean, I don't blame the guy for taking his kit to uh, yeah, to bar, etc. But not so long ago, I'm not going to tell names or anything. Not so long ago, he decided he they came up with uh, a lot of those CG crowds came up with, uh, especially when after Gina Carano got fired because. Uh, she posted an uh, unpopular opinion that I am. Um, that uh, yeah, it might be a little controversial, but um, if it was me if five six years ago, I would have said uh, yeah, she deserves to get lose her job etc. But nowadays yeah, after seeing through uh, what uh, the media tells you and things that happen at Disney Plus, they push things way too far to uh, the left side of the political spectrum. So yes, I'm nowadays I'm more like uh, yeah, it's not. Uh, I don't agree fully per one percent with her, but uh, she made she made a good point, and I don't think she deserves to be cancelled for it because yeah, I'm an uh, I'm a freedom of speech, not necessarily an absolutist, but I, I think, but I'm for absolute to a certain degree yes, as long as there's no active call for violence or people to be killed f for their pol for example their um, their religious views the political views or how they live how they live their lives same thing with uh, even though I don't want to present uh, support uh, things like the LGBT community and things like that I'm critical of them as well especially of the radical side and how, how they're trying to push things uh, way too far and how to how they, uh, yeah, something try to push things too far. There are a lot of people that are mostly okay. They just do their own thing. There are some rotten apples in there that, yeah, I don't agree with, but that doesn't mean that uh, they sh should be uh, shot or whatever. But, uh, yeah, in this particular case, it's kind of weird, but not so long ago, these same people. Especially this guy called for a boycott against Disney Plus. And now, 
instead of finishing this uh, year's late campaigns. Of comics that have been, of comics have been years late. <laughs> it's not even a it's not even a joke at this point. Instead of getting um, someone like proofreaders or editors to get to sh to get to make better scripts, I mean. I'm an opinion about uh, guys like Eric Ju like uh, for example Eric July. I mean I don't like the guy. I think his uh, his comics are boring as hell, and uh, yeah, to get him shipped over here, it's, it's way too much. The shipping costs are way too high. But I give him this. He gets his shit done. But now yeah, with this guy that I'm talking about right now in third person. First, they call for a boycott against Disney Plus for the firing of Gina Carano. And then suddenly, he's using the same funds for those years late crowdfunded books and uh, other things, like uh, for example, a uh, miniature car. It's a campaign that has no details about skill, no details about whatever, or uh, yeah, what the manufacturer is, which, should, which is a must on the campaign if you're trying to, yeah. Trying to sell a uh, miniature car to people. There's been a minimum. But no detail about that. Just, uh, yeah. Batch something on a miniature car to own the lips. In this case, yeah. But now, this is like. First, they call for boycott against Disney Plus, and now they're using the same funds to, uh, yeah. The reason might be a noble one, but. I don't get it. Now he's using the same funds to go to Disney World. I'm like, uh, dude, you guys need to make up your mind. Stop giving. Me. If he really was had millions in the bank, he would have paid for this himself. Why does he need crowdfunding for this? That's what I don't get. I mean, stop giving those people. Stop giving those people your dollars or your yen, whatever, your euros, whatever, because. This is really suspicious. I mean, I mean, start. Take a moment before you throw money at them. Take a moment to step back, reflect, observe, research, reflect, and make up your own mind. Because this is really. Um, I understand the reason why you would do it, but this it is really hypocritical. First you call for boycott and then this. I, I, I just don't understand it. And yeah, uh, this is no uh, ill meaning against uh, the guy whatever. But uh, yeah. It really raises a lot of question marks. And uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. It is a lazy rant. It is a nine minute vlog, and um, that's all I have to say to this. I'm heading back home with my bike. Enjoy nature for a bit. Enjoy the sunshine because uh, the weather is good before uh, writing the synopsis for the second chapter, and uh, yeah. But last but not least, the world for the not so wise. Stop giving people to money on the to ease labs on the YouTube and on the internet blindly. I mean I do it myself with Griff I do I give money to Griffin Gaming. But I know uh, it's because I like his content and uh, the guy's hilarious. Even though we live in two different worlds, two different countries. It's a uh, yeah. But at least yeah he, he provides good content. He streams, talks about things, he uh, makes fun of other YouTubers, etc. Great. Yeah, stop giving it blindly. So I get a good entertainment out of it and I give him an occasional super chat. But don't give super chats blindly to so called, e don't give them blindly to the, those e salads. Think for yourself first before you give them money and follow the money, look where it's going. It's going towards the product, etc. Or, uh, yeah. Creating better content, fine. But if it goes uh, to trips at Disneyland, things like that. When should I should uh, be using the money to fulfill a um, campaign?
pains and things, and on years late books. That's an entirely different issue that, yeah, it really ma raises eyebrows, because if he really made millions or billions, he would have done, he would have, uh, yeah, found it himself. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this. I'm heading back home, getting some lunch, take a shower, do some finances, and uh, yeah, write a synopsis for the second chapter. And uh, talk to you guys later. Hasta la próxima. Dewa matane.